How's it guys? We're back again for episode 2 of Land Bay Shark Fishing Australia. I've got my junior wingman here. Um, hey guys. Um, we've got everything we need behind us as you can see. All the rods are packed in here um, for safe travels. Um, nothing, nothing broken when we arrive. So this, this uh, big PVC pipe comes in handy. Everything's in there. We've got plenty tackle, plenty clothing, warm clothing, towels, two sets of clothing in case we have to land a fish. Um, that's the beauty of fishing from your car on the beach. You can overload it because you don't have to carry anything, which is awesome. Um, and the cool part uh, about fishing like this is uh, actually getting to the spot and 4 by 4 on the beach. That's super fun. And then hopefully catch a big fish, which is also fun. Um, what what are we gonna try and catch today, boy? A shark. A shark, a big one or a small one? Big one. Big one, eh? Okay, okay. And um, what's the story with bait? What we we got some good bait or? Got a nice nice one to catch a big shark. Okay, okay. So you hear that? We got some good bait to catch a, a big shark. Uh, so hold thumbs and. Um, yeah, today I'll be using my winch braid, as always, uh, 150 pound on my big rig, um, and my traces are provided by the trace guy, um, Junaid. Um, look them up on Instagram, Facebook, they got pages, they're on social media, chat to them if you want to order anything. So chat to Andre from winch braid and chat to Junaid from the trace guy. Their products are 10 out of 10, and that's why I use them. Um, simple choice for me. And yeah, so we're going to start packing the car, and hopefully um, get back to you with some cool footage and pictures. That rod was sitting a bit straight. Okay, fish is chowing, yeah? Keep an eye on that other rod, there, boy. You've got a fish on here, the other one can go too. Where's the loop? Can you see it? Try another line and look for the loop, eh?
Can you see it? You can see it, where? Right? Down the bottom there. Okay, okay, okay. I got you. Okay. Start this. Just walk. No, you need to get to the right, boy. Come. Relax, I'm right here. I'm walking behind you, relax. You can turn the torch on. Turn the torch on. Turn the torch on. Yeah, there we go. Bring the whole tow rope. Oh, no. Just leave it, Marky, leave it. Leave it. Yeah, leave it, come. Just no, bring the tow rope. Bring the... Bring the whole thing. Shit. Hurry up. The other rod's going, eh? Fuck. My, my other rod's on. I've got to double up and we can't do anything. Marky can't fight it. That one's on, eh? Oh my god, it's going to get empty. Okay, there's nothing we can do. Okay, just listen to me. Come, turn that off. All right, and follow me. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, you carry the tie rod. Squish it up. Okay. Yeah, you can drag it like that, no problem. Alright. Okay, come so walk with me because you're gonna Okay guys, so when I was landing this fish, I had to walk it down the beach to the other guys so they could help because it's quite a big job for Marky. Anyway, Marky did his part, he did well. And when we were landing it, my grinder went screaming. And no one no one was around. It was just Marky and the rod's far too big for Marky. So I literally had to walk away, land this fish, and leave my grinder that was screaming. It, it sounded like a better fish, to be honest with you. So now I'm walking back to my grinder. All right. It's pitch dark, no one around. Okay. No one around. Let's, uh, let's see what state the ground is in. The fish might be on. There's probably a hell of a lot of slack line. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's literally empty, but there's something still on here. It hasn't. So let's look one. Guys, it's empty. Look here. Empty reel. But the line's still on. So I don't know what the story is here, but let's have a look. All 
Oh my god, what is going on here? <coughs> Look at the line coming back. I'll, I'll laugh if this fish is still on. Oh my god, I don't know how that stops like that. Let's see. This is insane. <laughs> if this fish is still on. What is going on here? I don't think there's anything on here guys, but there's still weights in there, so. Okay, we're gonna stop right here, boy. Oh, that feels heavy. No. What is that? Sinker grabbing something. I got the big torch. The big torch. Don't even lie, I'm still on you. No, that's a sinker. Sinker? Yeah. That's a sun. I don't think anything's on. But how does it stop there, like with. I don't understand that. Getting all my braid back here, guys. That's insane. Look here, you saw the reel was empty, guys. Look here, we're pulling up here now. That's winch braid camo. Here's my top shot coming back. Back on. Oh, I don't know what's going on here, boy. But we're going to find out when we get the trace back. No, leave it, leave it off, leave it off. Sure, guys. That was lucky, eh? Didn't break me off at the end there. I don't know how that ended and what happened there because I was landing a fish, but you guys saw what I came back to. Woo! Damn. As always, I'm using wind spray and the Trace Guys Trace. Um, contact Junaid from the Trace Guy. He's all over social media and contracts Andre Mallet for wind spray. I've got both these products here in Australia down under. I've taken them from South Africa to Australia because I love them so much. <sighs> yeah, let's see what happens. I'm gonna cut the video here guys just to save a battery and then I'll come back when you're right at the end and let's see what happens to the trace. Whew. Whew. Look at that guys. Look at that. How's that for a chow? Screamer! That looks like quite a blunt part as well. Hey, everything back guys. Unreal. <laughs>